Hey guys, this is Redhead Goes Healthy, and this is day 74. Okay, so as you can tell, this is the weirdest camera angle. You are on top of a lamp right now because I don't have my tripod. It's in the car. I don't want to get it, but I am in the middle of the country in a hotel room and I am, I have a couple of hours before I have to get back on the road to finish my journey. Uh, so I wanted to do a very quick video uh, for days 73 and 74. So this was day 73. I can't tell if I wrote this quote or if I took it for some from someone else, but I love this quote. I am not afraid. I was born to do this. I cannot tell you how many times fear has gotten in the way of me even trying to accomplish something. And that means like fear of failure, fear that I'm not gonna live up to my own expectations, fear that I will be made fun of, fear that I will do something that will be, you know, like embarrassing. Um, but now I'm at the point in my life and, and hopefully at the point in my journey where this kind of sticks I'm not gonna let that get in the way of doing things that I think are things that I actually like want to be doing in terms of my health and fitness. Um, for instance, this morning, I did something that a healthy person would do. I used the gym in the hotel. So I actually woke up, set my alarm for 7 a.m. and I went put on my exercise clothes and I went down to the gym and I was the only one there and it was great. And I just did a 20 minute walk, jog, treadmill thing. I used the Peloton app, you know, through my phone. And I just like, I felt really good because there was a time in my life when I would have never done that because of fear. Like I would have been totally afraid of like being judged for exercising as a fat person, which is absurd. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna lie though, like I, I, you know, I realize I say that a lot, I'm not gonna lie, which tells me like, do I normally lie? Deep thoughts. Anyway, so after I worked out, I uh, was a little sweaty and I ended up getting coffee from the Starbucks, of course, right? Delicious coffee with lipstick stains. And there were people there in the lobby and I, they all were dressed, ready to go, you know, on their journeys in the car. And I felt super self-conscious and I felt like I was reverting to the version of myself that was like afraid of what other people are thinking about me. Like, what are they, what are they thinking? Like, oh, I'm so proud of her because she's fat and she's working out. Like that to me is one of the most condescending things that you can say to anybody who is overweight, who tries to like work out. Don't ever say like, I'm proud of you for doing that. Just assume that they are a healthy person and you don't have to look a certain way in order to work out. So anyways, all these thoughts are going through my head and there was a lot of self-doubt that just sort of crept in. And I had to remind myself of this quote actually, like I am not gonna let like my fear get in the way of doing things that I wanna do that are gonna be helpful for my body. And then we have a second quote. I love this quote because guys, this is a journey that cannot be done solo. Now, some of you, you can do that by yourselves and some of you, you kind of are forced to do it by yourselves. But if you're watching this video, you're already a part of a community. You're already a part of a community of people who are striving uh, to better themselves and who are being transparent about their struggles, hopefully. And I hope that that makes you feel like you're a part of the community, even if you're not a content creator or somebody filming themselves, you know, and like putting it out there on YouTube. Um, I really hope that you feel like you're a part of, of this whole uh, journey, not just mine, but everyone else who's kind of putting themselves out there on YouTube. Um, it's incredible. I've been doing this for two years and I still kind of keep in touch with people who I connected with, you know, two years ago. And it's just an amazing thing. And then of course, thinking about people in, in real life, right? Like you want to surround yourself with people who uplift you, not people who drag you down. 
And I know all of us have people who kind of fall into both of those categories. You have people who are going to be with you when you decide that you want to change your life, your lifestyle. They're, they're going to be with you and see it through with you. And they're going to uplift you because they can see that it's making you happier. And then you have other people who maybe they can't accept change as easily, but you have other people who will try to sabotage you and try to sabotage your journey and kind of do food pushing where it's like, oh, you don't want to eat that cake? Why? You should eat that cake. Why aren't you eating that cake? Why aren't you eating those French fries? Why? You don't want dessert? Why don't you want dessert? And I, I can't stand people like that. I just can't. And I want you, if you're watching this um, and you're on a health journey and you have people like that in your life to remember that that is just a projection. They are insanely jealous, insecure, upset that you are doing what it takes to change your personal life. And no one should be commenting on what you are eating, how much you're working out, what you're doing. That is your journey and you want to surround yourselves with people who are supporting you and uplifting you. And I am one of those people. So if you're on a journey, comment down below. I love reading the comments and I love hearing what everybody is up to. Okay, so that'll do it for today. Again, I don't wanna make any promises that I'll be able to do this tomorrow. So I get to see my, speaking of a friend, I get to see my friend today um, and I'm so excited. I think he's making a steak for me tonight. I was so excited. This man makes the best steaks. I even have, I think I have like a, a keto uh, or a video from like two years ago about his cooking. Um, so I'm seeing that friend and I'm so excited. I'm gonna try to convince him to be in a video. Uh, he's a little camera shy though. And anyway, so let's see how it goes. And I hopefully will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, if not tomorrow, then eventually. Talk to you later, bye.